And new at 11, the latest breakthrough in artificial intelligence is happening right here in South Florida. It's in the form of a robotic dog named Astro. <laughs> a team of professors at FAU say the work they're doing is the first of its kind in the world. CBS 4's Carly Barnett shows us Astro in action. It looks like something out of the movies, but this is a reality. Meet Astro. He's the brain pup of a team of experts at Florida Atlantic University. In fields like math, software, engineering, and psychology. A handful of other four-legged robots exist like this around the globe, but Astro is a different breed. So in terms of having the head and the eyes and the ears and the AI brain that we're building, this is the only unit in the world like this one. He is the first to have a head complete with a computerized brain. So unlike a typical robot programmed to do a repetitive task, Astro will be trained and essentially learn to respond to images and situations. A newborn baby has to learn a language and learn how to speak and even learn how to read your emotions. Astro has to learn that. So this new kind of artificial intelligence depends on a simulation of the brain that's actually living inside of Astro. Made of airplane grade aluminum and 3D printing, the 100 pound robo dog contains six different computers and other features. So he actually has a bunch of cameras, one on his nose, two right here, and then he's actually got millimeter wave imaging, which is sort of like a radar, so it can see through doors. Astro is the result of about nine months of work so far. Right now, he can look around, walk, and talk. Danger, danger, Will Robinson. And Astro can even respond to voice commands. Astro, stand. Besides being able to see in here, he's going to have gas sensors that are going to be able to, to detect things that are in the environment. He might be able to smell whether they're explosives. He also may be able to tell whether somebody uh, has some sort of medical condition. As far as his current capabilities, Astro is still very much a puppy, but they are excited by the potential. I think uh, what FAU started will hopefully spread, and if it does, then We'll see stuff like this becoming very normal. Astro Lay, Carly Barnett, CBS4 News. The work is funded by a private company called Astro Robotics. The team at FAU says they hope the open door policy, they have an open door policy when it comes to Astro, inviting students in any area of study, not just robotics, to contribute their skill sets and ideas. And looking forward, FAU hopes to have Astro featured in an upcoming football game.